you wake up in the morning feeling like this, if so, stick around because I have a special guest and we are going to be going over some natural ways to get the best sleep of your life and for you to feel more like this. So, hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an episode with somebody that I met, and we're going to be talking about different ways to help, naturally to help sleep, especially like if you have insomnia and things like that, and I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to her and let her talk about some of her points, and then I'll go after that. Hey Megan, thanks for having me on, I appreciate it. Um, hi everyone, my name is Sarah, and I am a marketing strategist to holistic professionals and energy healers. And I help them attract more leads so that their practice and or clinic can grow. Um, I myself an autoimmune warrior, a holistic advocate. So I'm definitely excited to start talking about some remedies that I use myself for uh, improving sleep. Um, so Megan and I had discussed um, talking about some supplements that helped. And I suggested talking about lavender, uh, melatonin. Those two are important in particular because lavender you can use in aromatherapy form. You can use it in a bath bomb form, which will help to relax the body and increase serotonin. And melatonin, a lot of us need because we have so many electronic devices that we are on way, way too late. And that just depletes everything. I mean, I don't know about you, Megan, but I, sometimes I have to literally schedule time in my planner just to put my phone, phone down and get away from that bright light. <laughs> I do the, well, I sort of do the same, but I actually got a new phone and it's the iPhone 13 Pro. So it's like, it has the wireless capability. So I like it better only because I have like the little um, pads that you just put on and it charges. So I put, put my phone over there. So it's like, if I want to get out of bed, I am too tired, so I, I don't get out of bed. So it's like, if it's farther away, the less likely I'll be on my phone. That's a good idea. That, that's what I do too, because I have my wireless charger over here. Mm -hmm. But every once in a while, I do push myself because I'm like, oh, wait, if I don't do that, I'm going to forget it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. But yeah, I mean, there are supplements for melatonin and some of them will even come in like combination with um, other herbs that can like help body pain and stuff if you have that, because sometimes that can keep, keep people awake when they're trying to sleep. So that's another added component to it as well. Um, what other supplements did we mention, Megan? Lavender, melatonin, and... Remember ones in particular. I know you just said a lavender. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to. Oh, oh, one of the one I do use is um 5-HCP. That's one, and was. that's yeah, that's tryptophan, and that helps increase the serotonin as well. Or you could just eat a big pile of turkey. That's why everybody gets sleepy at Thanksgiving. <laughs> that's, that's now, <laughs> but yeah, those those are some of the natural supplements. Um. I use myself, but do you use any of those, Megan? Um, I did use melatonin for a while, and then I just, I stopped taking it because I just forgot about it, so, but I do have, like, a noise machine, I'll go into that later, but I use that sometimes, and depending on the type of music I do, it does work. I think it's, like, if you have, like, music that's going, like, it's like up you know that it's gonna keep you away. So it's kinda of have to be soothing this like yes. not gonna thank you. Yeah, depending on the night, I'll do the same thing. I have a sound machine that gives off that like white noise effect. Yeah. Or um I, I don't know if you've heard of this um social media platform Clubhouse. Sometimes I'll go in there and they have it's all audio based rooms and they'll have meditation rooms. And you go in and they have soothing calm music or they have like ocean beach sounds and they'll, they'll just play that like all night. So I'll leave it on my charger and I'll just listen to that and crash out. <laughs> but 
that that does help a lot. I mean, but there are other apps I've used over the years. I haven't been as consistent as I should be with them, but like Calm, for example, oh, yeah. that's a that's a good one. And um, oh, what is the oh Headspace? That's another oh, good one. Yeah, I've tried both of those. Um, what about you? Have you tried any of those? Any of the other apps? Um, I've used, I have used Headspace in the past and usually that will put me to sleep because it'll start, I think it's like, it'll do like a story, like while it's playing the music. So then after like 10 minutes, I'll be out and I kind of like it back in the using Headspace because it was really good. I think it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I agree. Um, oh, and even teas. You know, if you have like those sleepy time teas before bed, they have like chamomile, um, passion flower. Mm -hmm. so if, if it's really strong, it'll have valerian, but that tastes horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it just does. <laughs> I don't know if you ever heard it or seen the teas on Amazon. So I saw this tea and I don't remember what it's called, but I haven't used it. And it's like, they have different flavors. They have like, I don't remember the, um, the type but they had like purple red blue and I think they were just like some of the ones that you mentioned but I haven't tried them but I really want to I just don't know if you've seen them before um the company Celeste I know is really good with different sleepy time teas I, I've tried a few of those myself mm -hmm. and they they taste really good too because you don't want to drink something that's horrible especially mm -hmm. right before bed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um I mean those off the top of my head yeah I, I'll do teas supplements try to do some meditation and just kind of have like um what they call a sleep hygiene routine mm -hmm. so you know cut off your electronics at a certain time mm -hmm. make sure your room temperature is comfortable um you know, make sure you have whatever music you want, like mm -hmm. just go through a consistent routine every night and that will help you calm your mind and fall mm -hmm. asleep with a little bit more ease, you know, because yeah. a lot of us forget to do a sleep hygiene routine, yeah. you know, we're, we're all just too busy and <laughs> fast paced mm -hmm. that we're not, we don't stop and think about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the average person gets if they're lucky, seven hours of sleep a night, if they're lucky, yeah. you know, and, and the human body really use, couldn't use more than that. <laughs> I remember I was looking up just how much sleep people should be getting. And I think they were staying around seven, to eight hours. And I'm just lucky, like you said, to get seven hours. Cause I'm just, I have a bad habit of staying up. Like my mind is just like erasing. So it's like, I just need to get it to calm down. Otherwise, I won't really go to sleep. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, those are some things to to definitely try to help improve your mm -hmm. sleep. And th those are all holistic, you know, no chemicals. Yeah. And yeah. I, I remember years ago, one time I tried a sleeping pill and it was one of the biggest mistakes mm -hmm. I ever made. And I just, I got like every side effect that you okay. could possibly imagine from it. So that's why I'd rather just try everything natural. Like I'm looking to my left, I have my arsenal <laughs> of herbs over there. And, but yeah, I definitely would, would not recommend a sleeping pill to anybody. I don't know if this is really just me, but I've always wondered, like I'm the type of person that I can do everything else, like I can do all the remedies and all that, but like if I don't get a shower before I fall asleep, I will wake up at three o'clock in the morning just to get up and do a shower. It's that bad for me. I, I can't go to sleep fully without a shower. Does your um, body temperature change a lot? I think that, so. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I could I could see that. I could see that because that that's part of the sleep hy hygiene too, you know, trying yeah. to get your body to that comfortable temperature so mm -hmm. that you don't don't feel like you're freezing or burning under the blanket yeah. you know because mm -hmm. even if you do fall asleep I can definitely see that waking anybody up you know mm -hmm. 
But um, I mean, and if you are having sleep problems, there's always, you know, going to like a naturopathic doctor or mm -hmm. trying some acupuncture because different things like that could help the body unwind and relax. It's just a lot of different, um, just not also holistic mm -hmm. remedies, but this holistic therapies too yeah. that can be tried chiropractor acupuncture massage any of those mm -hmm. all, all of that is, is beneficial and that, that's why I love working with like holistic professionals because they are helping to heal the body get to mm -hmm. the root cause you know that that's that's like my passion too so <laughs> can you think of anything else that you haven't talked about I think those are my main main points that I would like to share with the audience because I think those could be like the foundation, mm -hmm. the basics of things. And yeah. then of course, if those things don't work, then you would have to, you know, explore for your own body if you would mm -hmm. need to be, you know, a, a professional for mm -hmm. it. But I think those are things that people could implement if they're yeah. having just like general sleep problems. Mm -hmm. And then you know, see how it goes if they try yeah. one of them or all of them. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know if your if your listeners, you know, will comment on it. But yeah. if, if they do, I'd love to hear the feedback later on if anything yeah. was uh, helpful for them with <laughs> their sleep patterns. So pretty much my things are pretty much what we talked about. Um, like we said, I don't know if we said like reading, we said meditation and all that. Like reading a book does work for me. Like I'll start to read anything and then usually after five, 10 minutes, like my eyes will get kind of like heavy. And that's when I know I'm just ready to fall asleep. Like like last night, actually, I was just, my eyes were starting to get heavy. And it was just thinking about me reading a book. And I'm like, okay, I'm already ready to go to sleep. I was just out of the house. Yeah, that's a good, good point. I forgot about reading a book too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that that does help. That works on my mom in particular. Oh. She'll read a few pages and then she'll start like dozing off. And mm -hmm. that, that's another good option too. Especially if you couple if somebody couples that with a cup of tea, a book, and then mm -hmm. a nice soothing meditation music. Mm -hmm. I think that would knock most people out who don't have like any other underlying health condition going mm -hmm. on. Exactly. And then there is another thing that we haven't talked about and it's like doing or having like an exercise routine throughout the day. So like, I feel like when I ever, whenever I do exercise during the day, I'm more tired and usually I'll fall asleep sooner later on in the night. And like, it doesn't have to be like a whole hour. Like sometimes it can just be 30 minutes or like 15 minutes here and there. And that usually does do a pretty good job for me. I, I agree with you because it, it doesn't even have to be like a hardcore, you know, if mm -hmm. people just want to take a walk for like 30 minutes or something, mm -hmm. you know, that's simple because it exercises the whole body from head to toe. And that, that's what you need. Plus being out in nature is also a double benefit for your body to help calm down your mind. Like even if a person wanted to say, go for a walk in the evening, and then come in and try some of the other things that we mentioned mm -hmm. that that would probably be a really good combination you know you go for a yeah. walk come in take a nice mm -hmm. bath with lavender yeah. then read a book with tea and your music out like a light <laughs> i will say if anybody wants to exercise they should follow their strips before they do it because i did exercises i did this a couple of days and I was doing something, it wasn't like super hardcore, but it required me to like be all over the place. And I'm pretty sure I sprained my like muscles in my leg because I literally was walking around like I was a newborn uh, deer or something. I, <laughs> I forgot how to walk and I was like, this isn't how I usually am. Yeah. And it's like everything hurt. Like I just tried to bend over and bend down. It's like my legs were just not having it for like two days. And I told myself, it's because I didn't stretch. <laughs> yes. And, and that in and of itself probably interfered with your sleep too then, right? Yes. yes. Yep. Yep. Exactly. I'm 25 and I still think, I mean, that's still pretty young, I feel. 
But I think my body is also at the same time trying to tell me just to like, I guess be a little bit more careful because in my mind, I still feel like I'm like 20 again, but I'm getting closer to 30. And that does kind of scare me because like I have people that tell me whenever you get closer to 30, your body changes. Oh, you're, you're still young. I'm going to be 36 this year. (laughs) So you're, you're good. (laughs) You still got, you still got another, uh, at least, at least five more years, if not a little more, especially if you proactive and take care of yourself. (laughs) But, um, yeah, I, I think those, those are excellent points. Um, if you want, I could just mention a couple of things like pain, natural yeah. things for pain. If people um, get pain before bed, there's the um, Arnicare cream. It's topical. You can rub. It helps with muscle pain. Or if you rather some supplements, things like um, white willow, turmeric, and boswellia, those can all help with um, a lot of general aches and pains Mm -hmm. so if if anybody does deal with that in addition to not being able to fall asleep that that can all help ease it and and go out like a light then plus two if if people can sleep with their lights off like be Mm -hmm. completely in the dark that would be better to block out any light especially now that daylight savings time is here mm-hmm. you know I mean I I hate it staying lighter earlier I just yeah. do mm-hmm. I like it when it would get dark like around at least seven o'clock you know because yeah. yeah. when it's so light I just keep going with work mm-hmm. and I'm like oh wait what time is it <laughs> yeah yep exactly exactly <laughs> And see, well, this is kind of going off topic, but I feel like I just wanted to kind of bring it in. But um, so I know some people they like to sleep with the TV on, and others like to sleep with the TV off. Like my room is usually completely dark whenever I go to bed, but then people like to sleep with the TV on, and I went on a vacation with my um, well, my parents somewhere, and we were in the same room, and I swear to God, that night was terrible, like. Because they sleep with the TV on, and I sleep with the TV off in my room. So we are literally going back and forth between the whole night. They turn the TV on. 30 minutes later, I turn it off. 30 minutes later, they turn it back on. Like, they got sleep, but I got no sleep. It was just terrible. <laughs> and then after that, I'm like, no, you guys go on vacation without me. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the light from the TV... It, yeah. That's how what's helped to decrease the melatonin. So I, I can see why you kept waking up. I, I I cannot sleep like that either. I can't sleep with the TV on at all. It drives it drives me crazy. You know, I, I agree with you. <laughs> and then, well, I, okay, so I did talk about the sleep machine, and at least online, because I was looking for. I guess sort of a specific one, like mainly they had a lot on Amazon and mine has like at least 10 different sounds. It has the white noise, it has like oh, wow. rainforest, the waves, it has, nice. um, class- yeah. it has classical music and like piano. Wow. And I usually switch between like the classical music and the piano because like the classical music, it just it's so calming. It's just like things makes me think of sleeping and just like that. So, and that yeah. works pretty well. You have to uh, tell me what what product exactly it was on Amazon because the sound machine I have just has two settings. Oh, <laughs> your oh. your sounds a lot better than mine. <laughs> I'll have to show you. Yeah, and it has like it has the settings to where it can go on for like an hour, two hours. It has several different ones, so, and I don't think they were too expensive, maybe like $40 or a month. But I'll definitely like that. You know, it's even my cat likes to go to sleep with classical music on. (laughs) (laughs) She'll just get into her bed Mm -hmm. and I'll put the music on and she'll go out like a light. It's so funny. Mm And then really the last thing that I can think of, so I don't remember the name of this, um, it was a cream. 
and it uh, was purple and it did have lavender in it. I don't know what else it did, but it feel it felt different than painted, but it was just like really what is it called? Like you know the um it's like that cream that was that's um kind of soft and hard at the same time as like a beige color that my mom would usually say to put on to like do the stone look. <laughs> I'm not sure, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. Megan. Sorry. It's okay. Like, I can't remember what it's called, but it felt like that, but it was purple. And they said to put on before you go to bed, and it, like, smelled really good. And, like, after five minutes of putting on, I would want to go to sleep so quickly. I think it was called Lush. I think that's what it was called. <gasps> okay. I, I'll have to check that out then. Yes. And I think it was big at one point, but I used the whole thing. I've been wanting to find it again, but I haven't found it yet. Nice. And I think that's pretty but, much all. Uh, hope's here. What? I said that's pretty much all the points that I can think of. Yeah, I was going to say, I hope... And, and thank you so much for having me i think you froze there for a minute megan i'm yeah, not okay. sure if you can still hear me or there you go yeah, <laughs> but um thank you again if you didn't hear what i was saying for having me on your uh youtube channel having me on this episode i really appreciate it and um I'd be happy to to share it around as well and tag you, tag mm -hmm. you in it as well. Yes, no problem. And we said we were going to end with Q and A's, and I don't know. I didn't have any questions prepared. Can you think of any questions? Okay. Um, I kind of don't think so. I think we've just been kind of going back and forth with any questions or suggestions. Um. Yeah. But is there ever anything that your audience has addressed to you that maybe we could end with uh, like a final tip or something? Um, I don't think there has been. Mainly it's been, they like the video, so that's always a good thing. <laughs> oh yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> but I haven't gotten that many comments yet. So hopefully they'll have some comments for this video. Okay, perfect. But um, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't think of any Q and A's. My brain was going on all the tips and value instead. Instead. Oh. <laughs> uh, all right. I think we pretty much covered everything, then. Again, and you know when uh you decide to publish it on your channel. Okay, I will do. I think we're you from can do okay. So yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Starting to freeze again. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. I think we're back now. All right, so it was nice you sharing your sign and everything, and I hope this really does help other people and they can at least learn from this, and hopefully if they have any other ideas, they can just leave it down below. All right, and uh, don't, everybody don't forget to like and share uh, Megan's episode. <laughs> and don't forget to, of course, check out your you said you have a channel, right? Or you did or did Um, me, no. I have um a Facebook page, Instagram page, okay. and people can also find me on a uh, Clubhouse if they happen to be on that app as well. Okay. And of course, I'll list all your socials down in the description below, so they'll be able to go to uh, my business. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll definitely send all of those to you in uh, the Facebook Messenger so everybody can connect with me. And thank you again.